What's up guys, welcome back to another review and today we're going to be doing it on the new Footies Gustavo which I actually did manage to pack if you go check out my last video I believe or the video before that. Um, I got him along with the other Footies in the team. Unfortunately I did discard, not discard him, listed him when I was trying to compare his price back to him which is really annoying because now I don't have the first turn I just had to go and buy him back. But he did get the upgrade and his stats are ridiculous by the way. If you just look at those, some of them like 88 defending, 87 physical. Um, I think he has 72 pace, he just looks like an absolute monster and to be fair he was, so I couldn't really fault him on many things, his passing was absolutely incredible, pretty much every pass he made went to the man as far as I believe, I don't think any of them actually did miss apart from that one. Um, but yeah, his passing was incredible, that was probably his strongest stat. Defending, I mean, he didn't make that many tackles, I think in the clips there's probably only like 2 or 3 tackles he made in total. But um, I felt like his tackles were very strong and none of them were like bouncing around the box or anything. They were like clean tackles. He won the ball very well. So uh, his tackling is definitely a strong point as well as being very strong on the ball and off the ball. Um, especially on the ball, his dribbling was very, very good. He, especially for a CDM like Sergio Busquets, for example, is very good at defending and actually dribbling. And I felt like Gustavo was a little bit like that as well. His heading was also very good. There's probably I think two clips in here where he um, out jumped his opposite number very well, won the ball very cleanly. Um, his heading is definitely a very good stat. His free kicks as well. I mean, this one did miss, but that was the only free kick I did take with him. But his shot power was very good. I think I just put a bit too much on it, so I managed to go over a little bit too high. But um, his sh free kicks were very decent, along with his long shots as well, to be honest. Like, considering he has 68 shot, I believe it is, or 67, his shooting is pretty decent. It's very strong. I think he has 91 shot power. Uh, I'm not sure what his long shot stats are, but his, um, his shot is very, very strong. So I'm sure if you were to take a lot of a long shot with him, a few of them would end up in going into the back of the net. In terms of the bad parts about him, I would definitely say his first touch was pretty dodgy, especially when you put play a driven pass into him. There was a couple of times where it came into him and the ball just went like over his head and he couldn't control it. Um, so yeah, his first touch was pretty poor, along with his his um, initial acceleration. Uh, if he stood still and then he gets the ball and tries to turn and run with it, he's very slow off the ball, uh, like not off the ball, but like starting his run. And he's quite clunky when you're trying to turn direction as well. But um, as long as you're sprinting with him, he is very decent at dribbling. As long as you're running in like a line and weaving in and out, he is very decent. But um, all in all, I think he is a very, very good player, especially for his value. I think I picked him up for 30k, but um, last night he was going for 28k. He's probably even less than that now. I will put a little um, value up on how much he's going for right now in the bottom of the screen. But um, yeah, he's very for value for money, he is very, very good. Um, if you compare him to the likes of Inform, not Inform, Team of the Season, Sergio Busquets, he's probably around about 100k. He's definitely just as good as him, to be honest. His stats are very, very well rounded. It's even his shooting is pretty decent, especially for a CDM. So I definitely recommend it to anyone that's building a Brazilian or Bundesliga team because he's a very, very good pickup. And he doesn't really have much bad about him. He could be a bit faster, but even for a CDM, he is quite quick. So um, yeah, value for money, he's a very, very good player. So like I was saying, his pros, um, definitely his passing, dribbling, tackling, long shots and heading. Although I didn't score a long shot with him, they are very, very good. His dribbling is immaculate and his passing is absolutely incredible. Um, however, on the flip side, his cons, like I did mention, are definitely his first touch and his, um, and his acceleration, sorry. Um, <clears throat> Especially when you're just initially starting with the ball, he can be quite slow. But um, I hope you guys did enjoy the review. I will see you guys in the next video and peace.